Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. This time around we're going to be showcasing the March sale on the Unreal Engine Marketplace where you can save 50% on over 1500 products up until Sunday the 13th of March, so the end of this week. So I'm going to be going over the top 10 products which I've seen, which I've chosen out. Again, all the 50% off and I'll leave a link to all of them in the description down below as well as the overall Marketplace page. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting off with a really amazing one called Amplify Animation Pack. And this is a third person animation pack with start character controller. So as you can see on now, there are hundreds of different animations for pretty much everything you'd want in your game. So it includes the Blender Source, it includes 600 plus animation sequences, the third person controller, it's all 100% blueprints, the UE4 mannequin animations are also included, and it also has a simplified custom character for you to be able to use as well. There are 11 different animation categories, with those being weapons, boating, swimming, vehicle use, ladders, locomotion, i.e. walking, jumping, running, vaulting, all that, cover, climbing, interactions, melee and throwing, and swimming. And the third person controller gives you the ability to use weapons, boating, vehicle, swimming, locomotion, crouching, crawling, walk cover, climbing, melee with lock-on, interactions and UI prompts, and a camera system. So again, as well as this being animations, they've also given you that controller there in order to do a lot of stuff and be able to then use these animations which you can see here. So this is rigged to the epic skeleton and it can be retargeted very easily as it is to the epic skeleton. It does have the mannequin animations as well which again makes it very easy to retarget and use it in your own projects. It does include the blender source file. There are over 600 animation sequences, all of which are root motion, so they're not in place, all animations are root motion. It's not replicated and they don't have an estimation on when they're going to do it or if they're going to do that and it is supported on all platforms. But again just the sheer amount of animations in here and the, and the wide variety that they have covered I think this is just absolutely amazing and again you can really see on the video here what you can do with this pack and how much stuff it covers. I think it looks great. So moving on we've got the Actical Spunky Moves. Now this pack includes 82 studio mocap animations in 780 plus seconds from Ectacore for animating young characters complete with looping movements. So it has a total of 82 mocap animations, again totaling 789 seconds. All the animations have been set up for use inside of Unreal Engine so it should be greatly optimised. It's got AAA production quality with seamless transitions between different motions and a wide usage for business, training, archives, media entertainment, film and games so this can be used in any project which you want. So even if it's just an NPC on the side, again in any project so that's a game, a film, architecture so you're displaying a building or project or anything like that, this will work great. It is rigged to the epic skeleton which again as I mentioned in the previous asset makes it nice and easy for retargeting. The animations on this are both root motion and in place but it doesn't include any character but that shouldn't matter too much because they are rigged to the epic skeleton so you can just retarget it to your character. But as I said with the previous asset pack there's just so many different animations in here in such a wide variety that I think this one is absolutely great and again as they've mentioned you can use this in any project you want it doesn't just have to be games and it doesn't just have to be the player using it you can use this anywhere. And obviously with it being 3D mocapped, it makes it such higher quality and a lot more realistic. And next we've got Sci-Fi Player Man, and this is a low poly game character with 7 different skins. So this is rigged and it's rigged to the epic skeleton. It's not animated however, so you might have to use animations from a different pack, for example the two we've just gone over. So you could use those animations with this character. There's one character, but again 7 different skins for that. 35 materials and 70 textures, with the texture resolutions being 4K. So there's not much else to say about this one, but you can just see it on screen now. And again, I think this one looks really good. All the different colors you can get for it. And again, this is just a character, no animations, but you can use animations from a different pack as they're all targeted to the epic skeleton. Now is the Nordic conifer biome. So everything you need to recreate an authentic Scandinavian conifer forest with AAA quality, fully optimized and game ready assets in this pack here. So this includes 28 unique trees and stumps of various species, ranging from sizes extra small to extra large. It has 25 unique cliffs, rocks and logs, undergrowth and scatter meshes to cover the forest floor, a simple and optimised landscape shader both with and without tessellation slash displacement, a simple to use global wind and snow controls, optimised vegetation and asset parent shaders with last LOD function to easily create cheaper shader for distant LODs, as well as billboards for all trees. So this is really well optimised and would look absolutely amazing. So there's 93 unique meshes, all of which do have collision and generated capsules for all trees. 
the vertex count ranges from 4 to 33,000. And again, as I mentioned earlier, it does also include LODs and obviously billboards, which is great for optimization. There's 10 parent materials and 165 material instances and 343 textures with the resolutions ranging from 512 by 512 all the way up to 4K. So as you can see, this one here looks absolutely beautiful. I really do love these kind of packs of the environments and the assets and all the nature. And obviously the Scandinavian region of the world is a very beautiful place as well. So this looks absolutely amazing. As they mentioned, AAA quality, very well optimized. This looks absolutely fantastic. Now it's the Maya Temple modular kit. So this includes 142 meshes with both exterior and interior environments. It does have LODs and collision on all meshes as well. And all those assets also have non-overlapping light maps so you can use static lighting if that's what you wanted. It has a set of traps, water, waterfalls and rivers, and an auto forest ground on top of the rocks as well, plus vertex painting enabled on large modules. So there's 13 materials and 58 material instances with 156 textures being 1K, 2K and 4K in resolution. So I think this would work quite well for a kind of a low poly game, maybe set in a jungle where you stumble across this temple or anything really. So this could even just be set here or maybe you're filming a kind of a short film or something. This might work quite well in there, especially even if it's just in the background or if you get really up close to it, because again, this is both interior and exterior. And obviously this is modular, so you can create your own temple as well. But the one which they've created, which you can see in the video on screen now, looks absolutely amazing too. But again, since it's modular, everybody can have the exact same pack and create their own different temple and it will all look completely different and unique to each other. Next up we've got the oak forest. So this allows you to create your realistic oak forest with the procedural foliage in under 15 minutes. So this is all physically based rendering and it does also have custom collision on all of the vegetation as well. This includes LODs and billboards and there's 50 unique meshes with 7 materials, 101 material instances and 39 material functions all of which again contain 219 textures with the resolutions being 4k 2k and 128 by 512. now this is very high quality scanned meshes so you might need a bit of a better pc to be able to run this and in the description what they've said is tested on an rtx 3080 at 2k resolution on ultra settings they got 90 to 120 fps and on an rtx 3080 full hd on ultra settings they got 150 fps to 180 fps so very, very high, that's on a good graphics card. So obviously you just make an estimate of what you think your PC will be able to handle. But obviously the reason it needs a better PC is because these look absolutely fantastic and very, very realistic, as are all photorealistic. And now is the Mediterranean Island Pack. So the Mediterranean Island Pack includes a 4x4 island landscape with high quality scanned pine trees, shrub trees, rocks, and various plant assets. All the environments were made using procedural generation, using procedural foliage features of UE4 and landscape grass type according to the biomes and landscape materials. So it features a 4x4 island map, procedural foliage, photo scanned assets which is 12 pine trees, 17 rocks and assemblies, 40 ground plants and 6 shrub trees. It has a Mediterranean biome, a spline decal paths and road assets with traffic signs too so you can have a nice road going through the forest which you saw in the video. There's 90 unique meshes all of which have custom collision on them and there are also LODs. There's 12 materials and 51 material instances with 121 textures ranging from 512 to 4k. So once again nice and simple not much else to say it, the video really just speaks for itself it is what you expect it is a Mediterranean island pack which looks great as you can see on screen now. And now it is the customizable GPS and I think this one looks really interesting and quite great. So this project gives you a customizable GPS that shows you the shortest way to go to a location at runtime. So the GPS will bypass walls and go upstairs. So for example, if there is a wall blocking the player and their location, the GPS will tell them to go around the wall, not straight through it. And if the location is above or below the player, it will actually find a way up or down using stairs or a ramp or anything. It won't just tell them to just suddenly fly up. So all the elements of the GPS are fully customizable, so you can really get it to work how you want. And the blueprint code is very clean and fully explained which really helps you to customize it. It includes GPS sounds and it's all very very easy to set up. So there are seven blueprints and it's not network replicated however. But with this you can place and customize as many GPS locations as you want which will all appear in a specific menu which is already created which you can open up by pressing M. You can then click on a location in that menu which you've set up and the GPS will show you the quickest and shortest way to get there. 
and this is all updated at runtime so if the location moves it will do it automatically as well so the GPS will go to the new location. So again I think this one looks really interesting and really great and I can definitely see this being used a lot especially in maybe an adventure game somewhere where you might travel quite far or you need to travel quite far this will come in handy. And next is the horses stallions. So this pack includes animated horses ready to populate your game world. So these could just be AI roaming around the world or maybe even if you wanted to set it up you could have the player riding on a horse as well or even another AI riding on a horse. So this includes 11 skins for the horses and 2 black and brown skins for the saddle. The animations it has are a rise, 2 attacks, 3 bucks, death, eat, sleep, 4 idols, swim with forward left and right, fallen, falling and gallop also with forward left and right. There's also jump, jump land, jump run, run stop, small jump and walk again forward left and right. So there's quite a few different animations in here really ready for you to just be able to animate this horse and get it set up how you want. So this pack doesn't include a riding system, it's just the animations, models and textures. So if you do want that you will need to set it up yourself, but that shouldn't be too bad. So it is rigged, obviously not to the epic skeleton, and it is animated with 29 different animations. Two of the animations are root motion and 27 of them are in place. So there's four different characters in this, you've got a stallion, a skinny stallion, a draft horse and a unicorn, and there's four props, that being a saddle, horseshoes, bridle and carriage. And there's 41 different skins, 11 for each horse, 2 for the saddle, 1 for the horseshoes, and 3 for the carriage. There's 60 materials and 48 textures, the textures ranging from 128 up to 4k. So I think this one would look great and work really well in your game, especially if it's just AIs in the background that the player might not see that much, but you just see the horses populate in the world, or even dragging along a carriage through an old town centre or anything along those lines. This looks great. And finally, last but not least, we've got the 1950s New York City Environment Mega Pack. This is all modular with interiors and characters as well. This one I think looks absolutely amazing and there's definitely a lot of content packed into this one. So this is a mega pack with interiors, characters and vehicles with over 1000 assets. So it's all AAA quality and all in one mega pack. You've got fully modular buildings and roads. You've got over 1150 unique meshes three different interiors of the barber, bakery and car wash, 11 vehicles, seven of them are drivable and animated, five rigged characters set in the 1950s New York, which are compatible with the Unreal Mannequin skeleton as well. You've got sets of each prop type, i.e. benches, characters, modular bridges, signs, billboards and much more. You've got 3D interior cube maps, vertex paint for dirt in buildings, buildings, vehicles, props and much more big attention to details and sub-levels for cinematic camera lightings. So there's 1167 unique meshes to be specific, all of which do have collision on them, and there are also LODs. There's 410 materials with 874 textures ranging from 1K and 2K. So as you can see in this video, there's so much content packed into this asset pack, and again, I just think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's got a really nice style to it, it looks realistic, and you can definitely tell that it's New York in the 50s so it does what it's meant to do but again this is great so you could obviously just use the map which they create and have a player walk around there or as it's modular you can also create your own little world as well so it doesn't actually have to be in New York but it is based on New York set in the 50s so you could really have a lot of fun with this one and again there's so much packed into it so I think that'll be it for this marketplace sale on the Unreal Engine marketplace again it ends this Sunday March the 13th and you can save 50% off on over 1500 different items. All of the ones which I've mentioned in this video will be linked in the description down below. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was for this sale or even any others which you found on the marketplace sale as well as obviously there's so many I haven't had a time to go through all of them. So I hope you enjoyed and hope you found this video helpful. Just me going through the different assets, giving my recommendations on some of them and giving a quick showcase as well. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.